Hello and welcome to a new episode of This Week in the UPSL. Today we have a great show, plenty of action to cover, conference playoffs, a special section on the beginning of the 2024 season in some divisions, and of course the top goals of this week in the UPSL. Let's do it! Okay, up first we have action from one of the most exciting games in the Northeast Conference, and that is Rock City Boom against Greater Binghampton FC. This is on Sunday um, at the Rochester Community Sports Complex pitch. Uh, Binghampton in the red jerseys here made the brighter of the two starts. A little bit of uh, play here, missed interception, and then a kind of speculative shot from the edge of the area, but it goes in the back of the net, 1-0 to Binghampton. Uh, but that was not where the game ended. Rock City, boom, applying some pressure here, wanting to get back into this game. This shot flashes just wide. Goalkeeper probably had that one covered into the second half. And a loose pass there. Rock City, boom, are onto it, into the area, and they would tie this up. A tap-in in the end for Ebangueze. 1-1. Rock City, boom, in the ascendancy. Looking to maybe get a second, a mix-up between the defender and the goalkeeper, and it is a second. And that's uh, Kunyet Vardal with a goal. Binghampton would not take it lying down, though. Um, working the ball into the area, and the effort goes through the defence, goes through the goalkeeper, and it's 2-2 again, looking for that game-winning goal. Long ball by Rock City, boom. And then good strength, don't give up. And then that is the game-winning goal by Paulin Koloja. And uh, a good comeback there for Rock City Boom. Conceding a goal early, winning 3-2. So that wasn't the only game in the uh, Western Division of the Northeast Conference. Also, you can see there Syracuse FC with a 3-1 win. Syracuse FC top of the table with 18 points. Rock City Boom second with 12, but two games in hand. So a uh, little bit of a fight for the top there in that division. Moving on to the Central Conference, where there was some activity in the North Division last weekend. Big wins for Forest Soccer Club 4-1 against Arlington FC and also FC Harrington 4-0 against NTX Legends. Real Irving with a narrow victory there. Some other results and let's have a look at how that leaves the league table standing. Central Conference North, FC Harrington one point ahead of Forest Soccer Club. Forest Soccer Club one game in hand and NTX Legends breathing down their neck as well. The South Division, Houston FC running away with it. Barcelona Soccer Excellence second in the table. So moving on to the Southeast Conference, we're into the playoffs here. Over to Orlando here. FK Orlando versus the Mix. FK Orlando going for glory from the kickoff, but the keeper has it covered. The Mix here in the white jerseys. Nice early chance for them, in behind the defence, around the keeper, goes a bit too wide, can't get his shot off quickly enough. And a good little intervention by number four, the defence there for FK Orlando. And then they take the lead, great corner, comes to the number 15 at the back post and he hammers it in, no mistake there. And it could have been two not long after, lovely little flick by number two, out to the left hand side. Good strength there to take on his man. Ball into the area and a chance for Orlando, but well defended by the mixed defenders. And then the mix would equalise. Great cross here from the left. Free header, loops over the keeper, and it is 1-1 at half time. Chance here early in the second half for the mix. Good ball through. Finds his man, but he can't find the target with the header and should have done better. And that seemed to wake uh, FK Orlando up a little bit. Goalkeeper a little bit indecisive there. Can't get the hand on the ball and it's 2-1 for FK Orlando. The mix came back into the game looking for that equaliser and that great save by the uh, Orlando keeper. Keeping his team in the game, head in his hands. Mix had chances in this game, didn't take them. And then they were punished when um, FK Orlando put a third on the board. Number two, looks like he had a great game. Sends the ball in, another header. Easily finished into the back of the net and it was the quality of the finishing that decided this game. 
The mix didn't give up though, came forward looking to get back into the game and another great save I think that was again by the FK Orlando keeper. By the FK Orlando keeper. And full time, entertaining game in Orlando. It's FK Orlando who go through in the playoffs by three goals to one. Moving on to more playoff action from the Southeast Conference. Up next, we have Florida Tropics 2 and Leg AZ Soccer International. Florida Tropics in the uh, all orange kit here. But it was the visitors, Leg AZ, who had the first sniff of goal. Looping little effort here. Florida Tropics keeper goes for the punch. And then a the corner kick for the Tropics headed over the bar. These two teams wanting to get on the score sheet. More attacking intent from the Tropics, and that is a foul and a penalty. Penalty to Florida Tropics too. And they step up, and you love to see this. The Rabona straight down the middle. Keeper guesses wrong. 1-0 to Florida Tropics too. And that seemed to give them a little bit of confidence. Great ball in here. Players queuing up on the edge of the area. A good effort spilled by the keeper, but he recovers well. The uh, Legacy soccer keeper keeps it out. Near post header from a corner. Florida Tropics 2, simple as you like, make it 2-0, and they look to be cruising, but Leg AZ were not going to give up. Great effort here, simple ball across the goal, but he does well to keep his eye on it in the back of the net, and it's 2-1. Florida Tropics coming forward again, looking to pile on more misery, and it's the post that comes to the aid here to keep the ball out of the back of the net. Leg AZ come back the other way, this is a real end-to-end -end game. Keeper has that one covered, spills back out, and they can't force the ball home. Florida Tropics two defenders have got it covered. And then more chances here for Florida Tropics two, straight into the back of the net. No messing with that finish, can't argue with it. And it's 3-1. Legazi still trying to get back in the game here. Decent tip over the bar by the Tropics keeper. But it would be the Tropics it would score the next goal and it would be very difficult for Leg AZ to come back from this but what a finish by Florida Tropics 2 if you're going to score in the playoffs why not score like that Leg AZ did keep battling right to the end credit to them nice little flicked on header here could have been a penalty or a foul there for the little pullback and in the end it was when the Leg AZ attacker was chopped down another penalty in this game and another penalty confidently dispatched, but that would be the final score in this playoff game between Florida Tropic 4-2. So a great couple of games there. Really good advert for uh, the UPSL soccer in the Florida division. And this is what the bracket looks like for the playoffs in the Southeast Conference. Confirmation there of Florida Tropics 2, their 4-2 win against Leg AZ Soccer International. Tropics against OFC Barca in the next round. And then uh, the other game there, Macaballers FC. Quality outfit, winning 3-1 against Goza Spurs. Uh, another two-goal victory there. Macaballers will play Sports Paradise in the next round. Moving on to the other side of the bracket, Clay County SC and Diaspora United did not get their game played. So uh, we'll have to wait and see for the result on that one. Who will play Kelta USA? And uh, FK Orlando, the battle of the Orlandos in the next round. Sporting Orlando and FK Orlando will fight it out for a place in the semi-finals. So some more results from around the UPSL coming up. Uh, still in the Southeast Conference here, the 2024 season. Up in Georgia, Cornerstone losing heavily to FC Matata. Forest Rovers losing out to Ginga Atlanta and that's how the table looks and Matata and Ginga Atlanta on three points along with Seas Jamaica FC and then in the Northeast Conference in the Patriot Division big win for Unations FC and Mass United FC with a 1-0 win over Jaguars United and that's how the table looks one game played uh, so Jackie was a New Hampshire Bobcats will be looking to rebound from their losses next time out. Now it's time to check out the eight best goals from around the UPSL this week. 
Let's see, clocking in at number eight. This one for Foro Soccer Club. Ball through just to keep it to beat. First time finish. Nicely done by Foro Soccer Club. Number seven, and it's the Greens Point Gunners. Bit of room on the edge of the area. Good shot. Pass to keep it back of the net. And that'll do for number seven on the list. This one we've seen in the highlights for FK Orlando. Great work by number two on the right-hand side. Hangs the ball over and a bullet header. No keeping that one out. And FK Orlando won that match. That was one of the pick of the goals there. Number five on the list. Back to the Greens Point Gunners. Not a lot of room to work with there, but he finds some room for the shot. Good finish into the back of the net. Number four, Syracuse FC. Turns and finishes into the back of the net. Lovely goal for Syracuse FC there. Forest Rovers, lovely little step over to make some room. Big finish there into the corner of the net. Top two goals now. Greens Point Gunners again. Scoring some quality goals for fun. Ball into the area. Doesn't quite get in at the first time of asking. And then the bicycle scissor kick to finish it off. And then finally, number one of the best goals in the UPSL, Florida Tropics 2 in their game versus Leg AZ Soccer International. And you can't argue with that. Quality cushion finish. Number one on the list for the Florida Tropics. And that's the end of another episode of This Week in the UPSL. I hope you enjoyed that little run around the league as much as we did. Thank you so much for joining us and let's go UPSL.